Hi everybody, Mark Hunt here with an update on the Taylor's Wave and Riverside Park project here in Woodfin. Since our last episode in August, we faced a major challenge, and that is the storm and major damage associated with Hurricane Helene. Despite the flooding, the outlook for the project is still solid. The work is temporarily paused, but the site and progress were not too heavily impacted. We're optimistic about getting back to construction soon. Here's a closer look at where things stand. When we posted episode two back in August, Baker Grading was busy building the cofferdam so they could access the bedrock. By late September, they had completed the dam, ensured that it was sealed, and successfully pumped out the reservoir. With the cofferdam in place, they were ready to start assembling the wave structure into the bedrock, and they had even stockpiled boulders to do just that. Then, two days later, Hurricane Helene brought 15 to 30 inches of rain across the watershed, causing the biggest flood in the French Broad River in recorded history. On September 27th, the water level reached nearly 23 feet, about 17 feet above flood stage. It was a devastating event for the region, with lives lost, many people and businesses displaced, and significant property damages. Remarkably, despite the raging current, the cofferdam withstood the flood, though it was submerged under about 18 feet of water. Once they are back in the river, it will take several days for Baker grading to get, restore it to its optimal condition. Fortunately, all of Baker's equipment had been moved to higher ground and was unaffected. As you might recall from episode two, the design of the wave is tightly integrated with the natural conditions of the river the banks, the flow patterns, the gradient, and the bedrock. Our engineers at S2O Design are currently reviewing all these factors to assess any potential changes. One complicating factor right now is that Craggy Dam Hydroelectric Station, just downstream of the site, is temporarily out of service. It is uncertain whether the outage is influencing water levels at the wave site. Once the power plant is back online in a few weeks, we'll have a clearer picture of the river conditions and whether any adjustments to the design are needed. In the meantime, we're closely coordinating with permitting agencies and funders. Everything on that front is going smoothly. So the timeline for construction has shifted. We expect Baker Grading will soon be able to focus on the onshore work to improve and expand Riverside Park, a phase that was originally planned to follow the wave construction. Specifically, one task in the next few weeks will be to continue removing and disposing of over 16,000 cubic yards of landfill material from the site. That will provide immediate flood mitigation benefits. This recovery from the flood and reordering will delay the overall project by a few months, and it might be towards spring that the work in the riverbed will resume. We'll provide an updated timeline once we have more details. Thanks for sticking with us on this exciting project. Make sure and subscribe to the Town of Woodfin's YouTube channel. I'll also be posting these to my personal channel as well. Thanks again.